Welcome back to San Lando Soundwaves. I'm Nikki Robinette, and this is week three, day 11. Today our reading is from Genesis chapter 2, verses 15 through 17. The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. And the Lord God commanded the man, You are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat it, you surely will die. Our seven arrows, once again, are what does this passage say? What did this passage mean to its original audience? What does this passage tell us about God? What does this passage tell us about people? What does this passage demand of me? How does this passage change the way I relate to people? What does this passage prompt me to pray to God? As the story continues, the author of Genesis zooms in on God's creation of men and women in a very specific way. Men and women were given a task to work and develop the garden that served as their home. Though God made all things good, his design was that people would play a role in enhancing his good world, and God gave one clear rule that would provide a boundary for their work. They were free to enjoy all of God's good creation except the fruit of one tree, which God declared to be off-limits. He's the creator of all things, so he knew that it was best for Adam and Eve to avoid this tree. As they submitted to God's plan, they had the privilege of working God's great creation and developing it to increasingly show off his greatness. The same is true today. We can invest our lives and god given given gifts in various aspects of God's world to help others see how great God is. Science, architecture, mathematics, arts, education, and sports are all ways we can invest our lives to work and develop the world in which he's placed us. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you tomorrow.